Hey, it's Norm from Tested.com. I'm here at E3 2013, and who could we run into <laughs> but Oculus VR? Nate Mitchell, surprised to see you here. How are you doing? I'm doing well. It's good to see you, Norm. So you guys have brought the Oculus here. You guys have shipped a ton of dev kits already, shipping out as fast as you can. SDK is out, Unity, UDK, but there's new hardware here, which we were not expecting to see. So what's the new hardware? here at E3. Sure, so what we're showing off is a HD version of the development kit. It's a 1080p prototype of the Oculus Rift. Basically what we call a feature prototype. It is one piece of the broader puzzle that is the consumer Rift. And so what we're here showing off is actually UE4 uh, running on the 1080p Rift prototype. And it the combination of sort of um, HD VR with UE4 gives you that really next gen experience. So let's get UE4 to talk about that a little bit first because sure. that's also new that you guys are announcing that Oculus software's and SDK is going to be built into UE4. Anyone developing for next gen consoles or any or next gen PC can put Oculus support in built in. Right? Yep. So we're part of um, Epic's what they call the Integrated Partners Program. And basically what it means for UE4 is that if you're a UE4 licensee, the Oculus SDK comes included with the engine. So enabling the SDK is incredibly easy. If you have a UE4 game now, you can basically get up and running in, in Oculus mode within minutes. What were the hurdles of getting a 1080p display working with uh, Oculus and, and the system you have right now? Sure. So, you know, so many people who have the development kit that are working with it, they want to drop in the 1080p display. There are a lot of challenges associated with it. That's really the truth around it. We basically developed a custom display controller that powers the display. You have to go find the display technology, convince the manufacturer to give it to you. We're actually using a very, very um, high-tech, off-the-shelf LCD display. Can um, you say who the manufacturer is? I can't say who the manufacturer is now. I can say it's an LCD display, 1080p. Um, it's a great display. We're really happy with it. We don't know if it's the display we're going to mm -hmm. use for the consumer version, but it's definitely um, a top-notch display. And to give people a sense, at least here, what HD, what full HD VR is going to look like. When I, when I put it on, the first thing I noticed is it's really vibrant. You guys adjust the brightness and contrast. Right. And that screen door effect, I got to admit, it's noticeable by squint, by strain. But if I relax my eyes, and it is easier to relax my eyes, you don't notice that screen door effect. It's right. not as prominent. So the screen door effect has not been in, com in completely eliminated. We're getting there, and we have got some great ideas, you know, queued up to continue to reduce it more, but we're at the point where people are saying, just like you know, you just said, that it is so greatly reduced that it really does make it that much more immersive because the screen door effect isn't there constantly taking you out of the experience. You have HD basically knocked off that list of features that you want to get implemented at least into a development cycle. Sure. What other features, what's next that you can talk about that you want to, you know, that developers have come to you and said you know, they want you guys to get this improve for the consumer version. Sure. 1080p display, although this, you know, is a great prototype, we're not done. This is sort of the minimum bar. It's going to be at least this good, if not better. Um, so we're still evaluating display technology constantly. We're evaluating new methods of updating displays, how we can sort of optimize the display for VR, which is, you know, the whole focus of, of what we do every day. Aside from that, um, User experience in the Rift has been a big one. You know, people are still struggling with uh, finding their keyboard and that sort of thing. We want to make that easier. And I think back to what we said, we talked about back at CES, positional tracking, right? That's something we really, really want to have an awesome positional tracking uh, solution for the consumer version so that we can track you through space rather than just tracking your orientation. So translation and movement, exactly. Z-axis. Exactly. And we're not talking, you know, a wide, huge, like, right. connect type thing, but something that lets you lean down and examine things in the game world. And we're making great progress on that front. And we're hoping that we can share a feature prototype for something like that, you know, down the road as we move toward the consumer launch. All right, one final question. The SDK has been out for a little while now. Are there any demos, any early games that you've seen so far that you want to give a shout out that are especially cool that people should look for online or that people who have a developer kit can try out? A quick shout out to a, a sample you can't see online quite yet, but that is here at the show mm -hmm. is EVR by the CCP team. That's a really, really fun experience. Uh, it's a multiplayer dog fighting game in space. It's a joy. Um, so if you have a chance, you should check that out. Um, I would say Blue Marble is a fantastic experience. A lot of people have really been enjoying that. It's sort of this space flight, very peaceful, like move around the galaxy or solar system type experience. And then another one of our favorites is actually the virtual cinema. And the virtual cinema we actually have here running on the dev kit. Um, and VR movie watching is surprisingly cool. 
It's, it, I will admit though, it is tough on the dev kit, right? You don't want to be looking at this sort of low resolution image, but in HD, it makes a world of difference to the point where you're like, yeah, this is like having an IMAX in my house. It, it's a hangout with other people exactly. wearing the, the Oculus Rift in another part of the world. Right. All right, very cool. It's so great to see you. It's always great to see you guys at these events. And we'll, it's we'll our keep, pleasure. we can't wait to see what else you guys put in to the Oculus Rift and when, when, how that consumer version eventually turns out. All right, we'll find more of stuff from E3 on Tesla.com, more of the Oculus Rift. OculusVR.com is, is where you can find out more about that. I'm Norm from Tested. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.